So today I thought we'd talk about the drone robots from the movie Silent Running. That was a movie back in 1972. Uh, let's see, it was a Douglas Trumbull production if I remember right. Bruce Dern was the leading actor. But uh, you had uh, drone number one, which was known as Dewey. That'd be the blue one. And drone number two, which is the orange one. That was Huey. And drone number three, kind of the greenish colored one. That was Louie. And how long ago did I make these? 16, somewhere between 16 and 20 years ago. There wasn't a whole lot of information out there at the time. So basically what I had to do is take the DVD and the making of uh, DVD and do frame grabs and look up the heights of uh, the principal actors and stuff like that and calculate my scales and sizes from that. Like I say, there wasn't much information. Um, you know that the original props that were used on there went directly from cardboard mock-up to fit the, uh, the amputees that were inside the costumes to uh, wood form blocks which then styrene plastic was pulled around. In other words, there were no official blueprints or anything. They just went right from mock-up into styrene into shooting. It was low budget, had to be done quickly. The costumes had to be made lightweight. Uh, they were trying, if I remember right, they were trying to keep them like 20 pounds or under if possible. And uh, the uh, robots had a tool arm in the front. And most of the shots, the tool arm is the, the fake one. It's a lightweight one. And then the scenes where it actually had to work, that tool arm would be substituted onto the, the costume and pretty much controlled uh, off camera through pneumatics. And had different attachments which would uh, plug into the tool arm. This area down here was called the tool bay and there were different attachments which then could be put into the tool arm attachment to uh, get it to work. Um, Let's talk about the build and then we'll talk about 3D printed ones and paper craft ones and stuff like that. I'll put links down below to my website where I have more build pictures and more information uh, where I talk about how I built them and then the steps, the colors that I used and stuff like that. But uh, basically there'll be some pictures here like this. This is an assembled inner core and here are all the parts that it takes to make the basic inner core part is in wood since I didn't need to put a person in, I just wanted it solid then I designed the front part on that and on the master one which is one of these robots over here probably drone number one I then made a silicon rubber mold so that I could cast more of these for the other two drones and I did the same thing with the whole piece that fits on the side the leg uh, housing part, this whole piece here. Designed one of those. I was mainly made out of wood and plastic, just whatever, it didn't really matter. But then from that made a uh, large master mold and I would do hollow casts of uh, urethane resin for the multiple ones of those. So here you can see how they fit on the shell. Uh, the front part and a bunch of the other detail parts go ahead and make the master parts and then pull out a, a silicon rubber mold so I could cast those parts. Same with the feet. Made a master foot and ankle parts. Made molds from that so I could cast up the pieces that were used. The very top of the robot there's a bunch of detail stacks and uh, things on the side same type of thing there and the tool arm I didn't want to build all the mechanics and everything that was in there so I just made the uh, fake shell that covers it and uh, made my tool thing that way um, when I was all done with my build then I sent the molds and information off to uh, a friend of mine in California so he could uh, make and do whatever he wants with them because I my was mainly just interested in, in getting these three for my private collection. Then let's see, once I get into 3D printing, what 2015 or so, 
There were a few 3D printable ones like this guy I think I found on Thingiverse, which was, I mean, they're all different. It was cute. And I decided to make my own and I made quite a few different versions. Um, this is a clawfoot walking one. And it walks with a light and a beeping sound. And I also made these versions. This one's radio controlled. Again, still clawfoot. And I called it Newbie Silent Runner. But then I also made this walking version that walks with the pins in the feet, levers, leverage, and the body rocks as it walks. So it's the rocking walker. Um, what else? Oh, then I made uh, this large 3D printed one on my large 3D printer that I have out in the shop, which has the same rocking body action. It has the pins so it walks forward or backward. Um, what was I going to say? Besides the rocking body and all of that, I think I guess the main thing was having the printer large enough to do one that that big. What else? There was. Um, <clears throat> paper craft. Yeah, that's what we're in talking about. Then if you go online, there were uh, paper craft models where you can download and print on your home, you know, regular paper printer, and then you cut them out and glue them together. You could make, make these cute little guys. So I think what I'll try to do is, down in the documentation box below this video, I'll put links in to the build information on the full size one. If I can find any of the links for the Thingiverse projects, I'll go ahead and give you those. But I have YouTube videos on the uh, Newbie Walker and the Rocking Walker, so I'll try to get the uh, links for those in case you want to check any of that stuff out. And other than that, I think that's it. I just wanted to uh, touch on the three drones from Silent Running. If you've never watched Silent Running, I'm sure you can find it. It might even be on YouTube. I haven't checked if it is. Maybe I'll put a link to that too. But uh, basically it's kind of a tree hugger movie. It's, uh, I would call it a Save the Earth movie, but the problem is the forests of Earth have already been moved into outer space. So it's too late to save the Earth. And then they want to destroy the forests that are in these pods in outer space. So it's more of a Save the Earth and Outer Space type movie, but uh, doesn't go so well. I think that's about it. I know I'm going to be forgetting something, but let's call that good on Silent Running Drones.